What's up, YouTube? Chris Elliott here, and today we will be reviewing Remington James Anabar, the milk chocolate peanut butter and jelly. I watch his YouTube channel. Uh, and use a lot of his recipes. I never have had any of his bars. I saw that he has them in Trader Joe's, so I stopped by Trader Joe's and they had two flavors. So I grabbed one of each, and I'm going to be trying this one right now. Uh, right off the bat, just before I taste it, I will say that these are, for me at least, for the ones I eat, this is very high calorie. For me, 275, 275 calories for this. And I've tried a lot of bars. The one I usually eat is the Costco ones because it's like 170 to 190 calories and you get 21 grams of protein, I think, which is the same as this. So it's a lot less calories. And they're decent. They're real chewy, but... For me, I felt like it was the best uh, trade-off. For some people that uh, eat more calories, like I'm eating 2,000 calories right now. If you have a lot more calories, this may be less of an issue. But for me, you know, I'm not trying to have a lot of extra calories. So I guess we'll just get into it. We're going to see how it tastes. I'm going to eat a couple of bites and then give my honest review on it. All right, here we go. There's the bar. Looks like a candy bar. Smells like one. Smells like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What the inside looks like. Right off the bat, it's pretty good. Uh, definitely pretty chewy and I don't know how I would explain it. A little bit dry, not super dry, but it has a little bit of dryness. You definitely want to have something to drink with this. One thing that's a little weird is there is some jelly flavor in there, but there is no jelly in there. So I guess it must be like an artificial jelly flavor or something. You can see there's no jelly. It's just like whatever texture that is. It's like really chewy granola or really chewy graham cracker with peanut butter flavor is kind of what it tastes like. <clears throat> The milk chocolate on the outside is really good. Definitely like something you would get on a candy bar. So, I would say uh, probably one of the better protein bars I've had as far as flavor, but uh, for me being on like reduced calorie, I probably wouldn't eat it that often. I might eat something like this as like a dessert. Like a special treat for myself if I had the calories. That way I could have a dessert and it would still be, have good protein content. I might do something like that with this. Um, I'm going to check out and finish this and then I'll come back in like an hour. And see how it made me feel as far as keeping me satiated. Because one thing I've noticed is if I just eat sugar, usually it makes me more hungry. And I know he advertises no sugar alcohols or artificial stuff in here as far as a sweetener. So um, we're going to see what happens. And maybe 30, 40 minutes or something, I'll come back and just say what, uh, how I'm feeling as far as sati being satiated and uh, give my final recap. All right, I'm out. 
All right, Facebook, back. Just got done walking around a little bit. It's been 45 minutes or something since I ate that protein bar. I want to say, just reflecting on it after I ate it, I thought, this thing is way too sweet. And this is coming from someone that actually likes sweet stuff. So to me, it was way too sweet. I feel like you probably could put like half the sugar in that bar and it would just still be really good. Um, probably would drop the calories quite a bit too. But uh, I feel pretty satiated still 45 minutes in and like it, it took care of that because I was starving. I eat early, I ate like eight o'clock this morning and it's like three o'clock now. So uh, I feel good, like it'll hold me till dinner, no problem. So that definitely is good. It did taste good. Not gonna, not gonna take it away, but it was too sweet for me. And uh, overall, I don't know. Maybe I would do it as a dessert type thing. I don't think I'd get that specific flavor again, the PB and J. But uh, I have the cereal one. I'm gonna try that and review review separately. And I probably will try the other ones at some point if the Trader Joe's gets in the single bars. But uh, this specific one, if I was going to give it a rating out of five, I might give it like a three and a half. That's probably where I would be at. And I would probably not get that one again. But uh, shout out to Remington. Uh, I love all your recipes, brother. I've used a lot of those uh, over the last couple of years to lose weight. And uh, you're great with those recipes. So I will definitely support and at least go try all the flavors of your bar. All right, I'm out of here, guys. What's up, YouTube? Back at it. It's the next day. Got the uh, white chocolate fruity cereal crunch bar, Anna bar, Remington James protein bar. Decided I was going to wait and do this video as well and get both taste tests and reviews on these bars in one video. So you're seeing the next day at this point. I'm opening this one up. <clears throat> this one's 280 calories and still feel like I felt with the last one that. Uh, um, for me, I think you should get more calories in a protein, or more protein in a protein bar per calorie, but, you know, that's my personal preference, just because I'm kind of eating lower calories than a lot of people. I'm not bulking or anything. So, here we go. <clears throat> I know a lot of people say things about this one, so let's try it out. It tastes good. It's definitely got that uh, fruity cereal flavor to it, but um, <clears throat> like I said before, it is so sweet. I mean, you're talking to someone who likes sweet stuff. I like Sour Patch Kids and Swedish Fish. I'm a big sweets guy. Ice cream, stuff like that. And this is just like over the top. This is like one of the sweetest things I've ever eaten. That's how sweet this is. <clears throat> like this could you could cut the the sugar content in this by a lot and it would taste still amazing it would taste better in my opinion because it's just so sweet it does look um look appealing inside and but one thing i've also noticed if, you can, if i can get you to see this it's almost kind of oily see that the bar itself it's kind of oily which I will say is not super appealing, but it, it, it is tasty. Let's try another. This one's 280 calories. You get, I think, the same protein as the last one, 21 grams. Um, I think I like this one better than the last one, <clears throat> even though I'm more of a peanut butter fan. I think this one, 
I think the last one I give a three and a half out of five. This one I probably would give like a four out of five or, you know, maybe slightly less than that, but better than the last one. Um, I probably wouldn't try this one again. Maybe, like I said before, if I was going to, if I was looking for a dessert, this might be an option just because you can get that protein in with your dessert. That might be the, the time I would eat this. But, um, like I said, I've gotten a lot of value out of Remington's videos, not related to his protein bars or anything like that. His, uh, anabolic cooking videos are always super valuable I've gotten a lot of cool ideas out of that and it's helped me lose a lot of weight um, doing that so big ups to him and because of that I absolutely when I'm in Trader Joe's next I'll definitely grab the other flavors that I haven't tried I'll run through all the flavors and post a review for them and give them all a shot just so I can uh, support REM's uh, endeavor and see, you know, if there's any that click with me. Because if there is one that clicks with me, I'll definitely buy it regularly. But that's about it. So uh, good luck, guys. Appreciate it. Out of here.